Surfside Science provides a tutorial to seafloor mapping that can be done with simply access to a GoPro, cell phone, and kayak or paddleboard. Choose your beach and the ocean area that you will cover. Plan at least two hours for each mapping session. People usually do one hour round of kayaking. For preparations, remember to have your phone and GoPro charge and an empty SD card. On your phone, install the GPS Lodger app and the GPS Status and Toolbox app. You will need these apps to track the route you have mapped. What to pack? Well, your kayak, paddle, life jacket, sunglasses, hat, mineral sunscreen, GoPro, waterproof GoPro case, floating handle or strap mount, one or two rubber bungees, cell phone with the GPS apps, waterproof cell phone bag, and water in a reusable water bottle, and of course also your towel. So let's first start with preparing your kayak. Now, for preparing your phone, make sure the battery is full and the location is on. In the GPS status app, clear or reset and download a new A GPS data. Go into status and choose compass calibration. After that, open the GPS Lodger app. For the GPS Lodger app, make sure the battery optimization is off. Have location permission? Now go into settings. Keep screen on, should be off. Under tracking, GPS update interval, select shortest available. For now we are done with the GPS phone settings and move on to preparing the GoPro. Check online for information how to change the settings of your specific GoPro model. Most important settings that need to be changed of your GoPro is to set date to today. Set time to align with the phone. Set your GoPro camera settings to time lapse with an interval to 2 frames per second, or closest option. Also set resolution to 7 megapixel. Press the shutter of the GoPro to start your time lapse. Point and film the screen of the phone with the GPS Lodger app open. Press record on your GPS Lodger app. Keep the GoPro pointed at your phone to sync them later. In the GPS Lodger, press lock button. This locks the app so buttons don't get pressed by accident. Turn screen off. Put it in a waterproof foam pouch. Recommend a pouch with an air bubble and foldable seal. And also put your GoPro camera in a watertight case. Prepare to strap the GoPro on the kayak.
instead of the rubber bungee. Pass the bungee through the safety loop of the GoPro handle. Tie the bungee hooks to each other. Place the GoPro facing down near the middle of the hull. Tuck the GoPro handle under the bungee and slid it down so the bungee is between the handle and the GoPro. Make sure the GoPro is secure on the kayak and that it won't move easily. Check that your phone is recording. Use clear visual landmarks for the area you want to map, like trees, boats, islands. Be sure to pick an easy docking area where you can kayak with the current. Consider how the currents move on your beach of interest and use this in your kayak plan. Kayak in a vertical zigzag. Start at the farthest out point and move towards your starting position. You did it! You collected images of the sea floor. Now, take off the bungees with GoPro and stop your GoPro recording. Also stop the GPS larger recorder. Now name the track in the GPS larger app. Include in the name the date, location, area, kayak and name of the kayaker. You have done the field work of seafloor mapping. Now what to do next? 
you can check on science.brinches.com slash seafloor.